Hey everyone, welcome to the Captain Drone YouTube channel. My name is Steve and I am a drone pilot and today I have a very affordable GPS unit for you. This is by ZMR. They make a GPS that is tiny in size, runs for four hours on one charge and gives you the top speed of any RC product you have. So that means if you have an RC car, an RC plane, RC helicopter, FPV drone or normal drone, you want to test out how fast the speed is on it, this will tell you. Now, since you don't pay very much for this, you don't get a lot. So inside this tiny little case, I'll try not to drop everything. You get the GPS unit, you get a USB cable for charging and you get a set of instructions. And here you have the GPS unit itself. It's rather small and size and if I hold it still I can show you that on the left hand side there's a reset button and also a power button and to charge it you have a USB-C port right here so if I flick the switch I'll power it on right now and it will get the GPS satellite signals and we will see the display happening there we go it says I'm not moving anywhere see the zeros at the top that's your speed right below that is your real-time speed and then number of satellites and everything else so the purpose of this little unit is just to test out the top speed of whatever product you have in the rc hobby certainly you can use it in your car to give you the speed or on your bike when you're pedaling or skateboarding or doing other things it will definitely give you the top speed but it doesn't store data in other words you can't take this home plug in a data cable to it and then pull off your entire day out using the GPS and seeing your different speeds and your different altitude and all that other stuff. Very basic, that's why it costs very little. So what I wanna do now is test out how good it is. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, take a ride in my Jeep and test out my speedometer with this thing. Here we are in my Jeep and that would be my speedometer down there. It's showing zero because we're not moving. I've placed the GPS unit up here. It's just double-sided tape to my dash. They do say do not place it under metal. And of course my roof is metal and everything else in this Jeep is metal. So I do not know if this little receiver up here is gonna pick up the sat satellites but uh, well let's power it on and see what happens okay it's coming to life over here on the left where it says sat zero that has to say sat seven or higher and one thing i've noticed on this gps when you do get your sat seven up here it always goes 0 0.32 that's your top speed i don't know why it jumps like that there's some sort of drifting going on but it doesn't matter because then it should show you the accurate speed when you start getting moving all right so i'm gonna zoom out and as we're driving uh, I will just see if this top speed down here, you know, say I drive 40 kilometers an hour, if that's the fastest I go, then this should show 40 up here. All right, let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna go a little bit of speed here. I just wanna get a top speed happening. And we're at 49, I think 49 was it. So I've slowed down. Now, as I'm driving here, I'll see if I can zoom into the GPS unit and see if it showed 49. Let's see, yep, look at that so it's pretty darn accurate so that's decent so there we go I'm bouncing all over the road so 49.27 was my top speed and right below that is my real speed the speed I'm doing right now which is just about 10 kilometers or just under that's uh, what it shows below that so you get your real speed plus your top speed now for the next test it is to place the GPS on top of one of my planes when we land I should be able to see the top speed I should also mention that today is one of those days I can't stay outside very long because the sky is getting pretty hazy. You see in Canada we have forest fires and uh, they are north of me and the haze, well the smoke, is going to get stronger and stronger until you pretty much can't see past the trees I'm looking at here. Right now it's starting to get a little bit hazy. The air quality is okay at the moment, but it's supposed to go to something very poor in the next hour. So I got to finish this up quickly. Now the first question people might have out in this bright sun, can you actually see the display? So let me zoom in. I'm going to come over it and uh, we'll look down at it and I'll zoom down into it. The sun is glaring off the display, but uh, can you make it out? I think you should be able to. Yeah, you can see it there. Oh, and you notice over here I have another camera that's an Insta360 GO that's just to shoot footage over the wing so I can get all this haze as I'm flying. All right, it says we have 11 satellites. We're all set to go. Let's see what the top speed on this plane is. Now I do have a four cell battery in this plane, so I should be able to get a little bit of uh, thrust cruising on through, but uh, here we go. Flight boat one. 
Nice takeoff, let's bring it around. I don't know if you can see much with all that haze up there. Okay, full speed. Here we go, we're gonna get top speed now, going right through the haze. Okay, I'm gonna spin it around in the other direction now. Minutes. I'll put it up high so you can see the actual haze. I won't dive it or anything. I don't want to affect the top speed. There we go, she's up high now. Still full speed. Okay, I'm gonna kill the throttle so I don't uh, speed it up faster than it should go. Then I'll just let it glide. It's just gliding down nicely. Just do some nice little gliding circles as it's coming down. There we go. Let's bring it down and check out what that speed is. Bring it over here, try not to hit all the trees. There we go. All right, let's plop this down and see what it says. There you have the top speed, 120 kilometers per hour. Pretty cool. Now I'm pretty sure you can change this into miles per hour, but I didn't see that in the instructions. Uh, I'm sure there's a way you can do it. All right, let me hop up here so you can see me in the video. The haze is starting, so I don't know if I still look all in perfect focus and perfect color, but uh, I'm gonna have to go indoors due to the fires and the smoke and the haze. I just wanna say this is a pretty good product. I like it. I'll use it in the future on many of my review products for testing the top speed. So uh, I give it a thumbs up. Links to this product are below. It's not very expensive. It's a no frills GPS, very basic. Four hours of runtime on a full charge. Get satellites really quick. Seems to show the accurate speed reading. So, you know, it's pretty decent. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in a future video with many more reviews. Until then, I say, whoa, bye.